Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Owen Fox and today I want to make you a video of why people do not leave relationships and when is a good time to leave a relationship. So I've been in lots of relationships in my life and I was once sort of, you know, insecure and kind of afraid to leave a relationship because I wasn't sure what's going to happen next. Like I was insecure and afraid of like, wh where am I going to live? What am I going to do? How it's going to turn out for me? So the fear of going alone and facing the world alone was a hindrance of me leaving a relationship that wasn't satisfying or we weren't compatible. Um, so that's one reason why people do not leave relationships. Another reason is because people are attached. We're attached to relationships. We're attached to the person. We're attached to the security of knowing what's, what's expected, like in our daily life, our routine. But that said, sometimes it's an unpleasant life existence or routine. It could be with an abusive person. It could be an abusive relationship. So it's no good to like live your life based on negative attachments or fears. That's not the way we want to go. We want to. So that leads on to my other point, everyone, because this video is going to be reasonably short. I hope this helps you so much in your life. And if, if you like my videos in this video, please hit the like button and that's appreciated. And welcome to share too. So. Another reason why when is a good time to leave a relationship, it's never generally a good time, typically, unless it's an abusive relationship where you should get an a ASAP and even sleeping in your friend's sofa is much better than being in an abusive relationship. If it's abusive, you should get out, especially if it's physically abusive. That's like, could be any abuse really. If it's bad abuse, you should get out ASAP and just sleep anywhere else, like in your friend's sofa is much better than staying in an abusive relationship, okay? Soul contract's finished. If it's very abusive, finished. Leave. Time to move on. Learn your lesson. Learn the lesson of moving on, getting out, facing your fears, getting support, making friends, and living a life outside of attachment to an unhealthy, abusive relationship. That's the lesson there, okay? So, except for abusive relationships, when is a good time? When you're unsure, you're having some fights, some people, like, like you know, arguments, there's some triggers going on. You're not really too sure if you're seeing eye to eye. And you're doubtful, should I leave a relationship or should I stay? It's sometimes good and then it goes bad again and it's a bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, I've been in that too. Have a lot of experience with relationships and relationships and communications are one of my expertise in life, really. It's one of my passions and where I'm very good at. And even just general relationships, like how to talk to your parents, how to, how to sort of demand slash treat people, how to treat you with respect and integrity and not to be sort of controlling, all this sort of stuff. Um, but it's not a good idea in an average to decent relationship to leave because you're feeling bad. Even if it's a poor relationship, it's much better to leave when you're feeling good. So when you're in alignment and feeling good and balanced, that's a much better time to leave. Don't leave when you're in doubt because you're just going to carry yourself to the next relationship and all of your own issues and problems and unresolved traumas and programming. So... You want to resolve your tr your trauma and programming, and you basically want to think in a way where your perception is positive and appreciate what you got in this relationship. What I'd suggest right now is write down the top five or three things you like and love about this person you're with, okay? Learn to practice to think appreciation thoughts. Get in alignment with your higher self, your source, God, spirit, whatever the word you want to use. Get in the connection to this connection you have within yourself, deep within yourself, okay? And think in alignment with this. Because every situation, every moment, every relationship, every friendship, every everything, every there's always two perspectives, everyone. There's the, the programmed trauma perspective of the human. Oh, that happened to me in the past and I'm really afraid that's going to happen to me again. That's the human perspective, okay? The aligned higher self state is what spirit or source or God or universe would think and that is an unconditionally loving compassionate heart-centered thoughts of appreciation and love and compassion as i said and understanding so when you can see that you let go of the hard heart you let go of the venom within you and then you can see clearly and then you can you can either build the relationship to be much 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 better or you can say hey i appreciate this experience with you i appreciate you a lot of positives about you um, and you don't have to go into criticizing and blaming and fighting which so many relationships end in or continue in for so much time and then you can say you know 
I think we should move on. You know, you so you basically you move on, but you do it from a space of alignment instead of unalignment, from a place of love and compassion and appreciation instead of fear, anger, blame. So you take accountability for your participation or mistakes in the relationship. You say thank you can say you can feel and you can then say thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. You can feel or say any of those if you want. Honoponopono, the Hawaiian letting go and aligning with your higher self mantra or prayer. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You can think and fear or say any of these things, okay? And then that's that, everyone. End of the video. I hope you got the point there. That covers it all. Hope you get the gist of it. Don't prance out with a big argument. You just resolve your own inner issues that you're projecting onto other people and blaming onto other people. And you resolve it in a lovely way. And then, this is the best part, you're going to bring this practice in an into alignment version of you into your next relationship. And then that's going to be way better. But if you just leave without resolving yourself, guess who's in your next relationship? You are. And if you have loads of unresolved issues, guess what's going to happen in that relationship? So many of the same things. So that's what you got to learn and practice everyone. Practice getting in alignment. Practice appreciation. Practice heart-centered thoughts. Practice sharing this video or liking it. <laughs> and you practice heart-centered thoughts of appreciation and enjoying your life right now. You're never going to be happy over there where the grasses you think are green if you can't be happy here. Because you always bring yourself with you, everybody. You're the number one denominator, common denominator in your life. So unless you fix, whatever the word is, I don't really care. Fix is happy to me. I'm playful. I'm a, I can be clowny. I am a clown. Fix yourself. Some people are so serious. They so you just have to fix yourself. You're perfect the way you are. Yeah, but we have traumas with programming. So until you resolve, fix, work on, do the work, whatever words you want to use, you're going to carry yourself forward. So it's much nicer to continue on. And instead of being in a relationship, you can change the role of that person in your life. You can change them to be a friend or an acquaintance or just someone, someone who was in your life and you don't talk to anymore. So it's much nicer to end and to finish and to clear up with loving vibes in your heart and possibly shared, spokenly too. And then you're going to carry a better version of yourself into the next relationship. So everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, it's been fun for me to watch or to, to make. And um, if you have any questions, or like coaching or subscribe to my youtube channel um, i do relationship coaching soulmate and um, relationship coaching i do fixing healing leaving twin flame or flamey fiery grill-ish relationships i do coaching on health and healing and prevention of disease and thriving and energy and detoxification raw food overcoming food addiction and bad um, relationships with food um, how to communicate with your parents if they're smothering you or trying to control you. How to possibly even enhance your relationships with your children too, because I have children also as a father. Um, I do I do coaching on basically inner healing and self awareness and reprogramming slash unprogramming and letting go and resolving the pain from our traumas in the past. It's to let go of the, the 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 blocks and the stagnations and then when you let go and let out the big blockages you create huge space for incredible good better happier joyous things people and moments in your life right here today and that's what i do and i love to do that and i have a herb store so for anyone who wants any physical health or even emotional i have herbs called serenity for mental and emotional well-being and physical and so much for healing and fixing and improving our glands which is our adrenal glands for stress so much immune system support so much everyone the list goes on thanks for being in my life have a beautiful day let me know if this video helped you if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and i will be sure to get back to you god bless everyone take care and have a beautiful best day ever this is own fox from florida swimming in the ocean today swimming in the swimming pool too have such a nice day today